My ex said, it turns me on when I make you cry. So one time my ex made me cry over something honestly very stupid. And I recall him saying, it really turns me on knowing I can make you cry, after we made up. I broke up with him shortly after this for various other reasons. But looking back on the relationship this was one of the biggest icks I've gotten from him. Does anyone have an idea why he would say this to me? Is this a normal thing guys go through, or does he just lack empathy? What kind of dude gets turned on from making their girlfriend cry? Thanks for any and all input. It sounds like he is turned on by the power he has to control you. I am realizing my ex was the same way. Some people are taught that making people cry makes you stronger. He wanted to show dominance. He's an asshole. This isn't normal. Dude sounds like a complete psychopath. You dodged a major bullet. My ex got turned on when I was angry. He was not right in the head either. Either a psycho or a sadist either way he is disgusting. My sick porn addicted toxic manipulative ex used to do this. My current boyfriend gets tissue and wipes my tears. My partner keeps spending my money and I just don't know what to do. So I, 24 male, have been with my partner, 25 female, for 6 years now and in the last year she's developed this terrible habit of spending money that isn't hers. It started with rent money, I'd give her my half of the rent and she was supposed to add her half and give it to our landlord to pay the rent. About a year ago she stopped paying the rent and would just go and spend the money I gave her on god knows what. When I found out about it we had a massive argument but in the end the problem got solved and she stopped doing it. A couple months ago I went to buy something on my credit card and it declined. I checked my account and the $500 I had on there had been spent I obviously freaked out thinking someone had stolen my card I asked my partner if she had seen it and she asked me why. I told her and she explained she had my card and had indeed spent the money. I was absolutely furious to be honest I still am money's not exactly tight and she has no reason to steal money from me especially from my credit card. Then today I checked my savings account because I am saving up to buy a milling machine for my business and there was $100 missing she had taken my card again and to her credit she spent $50 of that putting fuel in my truck, which she doesn't need to be driving anyway but I was asleep, and the rest on groceries. It doesn't sound that bad but the fact she just took my card without asking, spent my money without asking, and I don't know what groceries she actually bought it gives me flashbacks to what she had done before and I just don't trust her. How do I stop this behavior or am I being a bit too overprotective of my finances and should just let her do her thing? Too long did not read. My partner keeps spending my money without asking. It's freaking my out. Not sure what to do. You need to cut her off from having access to any of your finances. One day she is going to get you into a problem you can't easily solve. Then why stay with someone like this? She is stealing from you. This is a huge red flag. No, beyond just a red flag and it sounds like she isn't even interested in stopping. It's extremely disrespectful for her to keep going behind your back like that. I get that you're engaged, but she has absolutely no right to your money, especially not when she doesn't even have the decency to ask for your permission. Honestly, this would be a massive deal breaker for me. How can you possibly establish a healthy, trusting relationship when she keeps pulling shit like this? Hang on a minute, she stole your rent money for several months and you are still with her and giving her access to your savings and credit card? How did the problem get fixed, she stopped doing it of her own accord or you stopped giving her the money and the opportunity to take it? What is she spending the money on? If she doesn't have lots of stuff to show for it, it sounds to me like she has more issues than just stealing money, sounds like she has a drug or gambling problem. Why does she think she has the green light to just use your money, truck and such without asking? You have every right not to trust her based on her behaviors which can ruin your relationship if boundaries aren't set ASAP. If it was me, I would leave her as. She's not responsible, and when someone takes something of me without permission and doesn't even tell me, that's stealing. I don't have patience for thieves. My location glitched out on holiday and my partner thinks I lied about where I was. I, 21 female, am currently on holiday with my family in our home country. My partner, 25 male, did not come with me as it was a mother-daughter trip. Last night I was very tired from visiting family and went to bed quite early, and slept through the night waking up at about 6 am. I woke up to several concerned missed calls and text messages from my partner. We have an app where we can see each other's location, this was my suggestion for safety reasons when I go out without him. At about 3 am my location had jumped to the other side of the island, I not sure why. 
maybe because of the cell phone towers or bad reception. He now isn't sure if I lied to him or not as to where I was and I'm worried about our relationship moving forward. We are in pretty big fight now because I feel like if he trusted me he would take my word. But he thinks that anyone would be suspicious. He is currently contacting my cousin to ask if I was really in bed. What should I do? Am I crazy to be this upset? Edit. It was my idea to get the tracking app. It has a lot of safety features that I can use to quickly contact him if I'm in trouble. I have been sawed before and it makes me feel comfortable that he can find me if I need help. The app should be used for safety reasons, and that alone. He wasn't using it for that, he's just showing he's controlling and doesn't trust you. That behavior isn't okay. Him contacting your cousin for confirmation is weird. What do the timestamps say, and do they indicate you teleported? Was it actually feasible for you to have made it to the other side of the island and back in between the prior and following location entry showing you where you're staying? I have answered your questions. I'm in another country and I can't explain the glitch. You have to either believe me or not. To help you believe me I'll answer questions truthfully, but I won't accept your anger. I don't deserve your anger. Eventually you're going to have to trust me or break up. So make up your mind. Why has he got so much mistrust towards you? That's sort of a red flag in itself, seems like he's projecting a bit. Do you want this relationship to move forward if he's going to make accusations and track your every movement? Worrying about you when you appeared to be somewhere you hadn't planned to be is one thing. You have the app for situations like this, where you might have been in trouble. Not taking your explanation of what happened at face value is a completely different issue and shows that he doesn't trust you or and or thinks you are cheating on him. Assuming you're not cheating and haven't given him a reason to think you are, something is wrong. Whether or not it's something thing solvable is something you'll have to decide for yourself. I'd probably switch to giving a friend or family member access to your location app rather than him if he's going to be like this. Husband called me, disgusting to look at. Things haven't been great for a while. Today we were fighting because he was, again, treating me like shit and I was attempting to tell him how unhappy I was as a result. I'm resentful and hurt. I've had it. I've had it to the point where it suggested we get a divorce. He got angry, doubled down, and began insulting my weight, saying I look like my mom, which is even worse because I struggle with my relationship with my mom. I DK even know what to do at this point. I was looking for a new place to live and the cheapest place I could find for me and my kids is about two-thirds of my take-home pay. I make a decent salary, the cost of living here is ridiculously expensive. He said we'd be fine if I just took care of myself. And I try, it's just not enough because I have to do everything around the house except mow the lawn. I work full-time too. I'm 50, have a mom bod, and suspect I have something going on in my abdomen preventing me from losing weight. Yes I'm working with my doctor and my insurance keeps rejecting testing. I'm trying and it never feels like enough. I DK what I need here. How do I get rid of his stupid voice in my head telling me I'm fat and not good enough? It's hard to take care of yourself when you feel like a worthless piece of shit. Please leave. Life's too short. You don't want the rest of it spent with someone who makes you feel like shit constantly. Holy shit. Go see a divorce lawyer Monday morning. This isn't a normal relationship. This isn't about your weight. Not even a little bit. He's an asshole and an abusive one at that. Get out. Get the best place you can and make plans from there. Organize a divorce and make sure you get what you're entitled to growing heart. IDK even know what to do at this point. I was looking for a new place to live and the cheapest place I could find for me and my kids is about two-thirds of my take-home pay. I make a decent salary, the cost of living here is ridiculously expensive. You should be able to get child support upon separating from him, that should help. If it's legal in your state record him. It may help in divorce. At best you need serious and intensive couples therapy but to be honest this sounds beyond that. I'm so sorry you're dealing with this. I'm sure there are two sides to every story but it just sounds awful and those kinds of insults are inexcusable. Do not internalize his contempt. The worst thing you can do with your life is spend it with the wrong human being. 